This is our patch. It's ours. Your turf ends at Waterfall. This land is ours. Was yours. Don't push your luck, Ragnar. You might not live to regret it. We have a claim to this land. You're disrespecting me. So what if I am? You're disrespecting my whole family. So what are you going to do about it? There's only one thing we can do. That's right. We settle this the Viking way. We settle it the Viking way. With Reason discussion and democratic debate. Agreed. We need to discuss this land dispute in a Viking parliament. Agreed. Yeah. Well, I'll see you there next Saturday. Yeah. Lovely. I look forward to it. Mm. Uh, how's Pat? Very well. How's Judith? Oh, she's wonderful. Good. You're looking good. Have you lost weight? Oh, you know, bit of the old... Wet! Not so fast. In 1896... Uh-oh. What's this? Someone's in trouble. A cry for help and the men of the Victorian Beach Patrol spring into action. A quick change. Now, appropriately dressed in their woolly Victorian swimwear, the Victorian Beach Patrol are ready to roll. Roll their bathing box into the water, of course. It wouldn't be seemly just to walk into the sea. What's this? Looks like the struggling swimmer has managed to make it to the shore. And the good news is he looks healthy and full of life. It looks like another success for the men of the Victorian Beach Patrol. Sorry, you've got a really weird sneeze. Yeah, I know. Sounds like you were just saying wazoo. Wazoo! Sounds like wazoo. wazoo. Extraordinary. Please stop it. Stop it. Wazoo. Today, on Victorian word battles, it's Charles Dickens versus Lewis Carroll, the authors of Alice in Wonderland and Oliver Twist going head to head in a word off. Who can come up with the best new words? This is about to go down. Messiness. Hmm. Burble. Unpromisingly. Chortle. Fancy dressed. Hmm. Slithy, galumphing bandersnatch. I'm sorry, actually, I let Burble and Chortle go, but slithy, galumphing bandersnatch aren't real words. Yes, they are. I just created them. Oh, bah humbug! Now who's making stuff up? <laughs> Wacky mathematician Pythagoras served up some interesting theorems. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Do you see? Oh, that is absolute genius. And um, the other thing is, but after you've died, you come back as animals. No, I know this because the other day I heard a dog barking and it definitely was the voice of my friend. See you later, crocodile. I got a dog hand. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Mr. Good Gracious. They're underpants, sir. I see. You, sir, are a very unusual man. And goodness knows what else. The magazine everyone in Saxon England should read. Well, as long as they're monks. What happened to the vow of silence? Starting now. Oh, that's worse than his. Seriously, are we doing this now? I'm ill. Sorry. Here's how we think it works. Come here, you spiky little milk thief! I beg your pardon? Yeah, it's just maybe we should quit while it's still fun. Well, I'm having fun. And it's my game. Yes, fun game. Yay! I want to conquer India now. Yeah, that could take a while. I did say I'd pick my sister up from the swimming pool. Oh, look! Place. We've just been attacked by elephants. What is an elephant? OK, but once we conquer India, then can we go home? Because I've got... What do you think? Do they know who I am? Who's in charge? Ah, heave to me, hearties! Uh, are you the man in charge? That be me, you land robber! I'm sorry, what was that? I am reasonably familiar with uh, pirate parlance. Perhaps I could translate. Uh, proceed. A land robber basically means someone who is clumsy while aboard a ship. If that's what you mean, why don't you just speak properly? Silence! Scurvy knee! Oh, he's at it again. Translation, please. Scurvy is a nasty disease you can get at sea, and Knave... Well, he's basically calling you a villain, sir. If he wants to call me a scabby villain, why didn't he just say so? Well, shiver me timbers, I'll have this bilge rat keel haul! Well, if a ship gets a sudden blast from a cannon, then the wooden masts, or timbers, are shaken or shivered. It's kind of an expression of surprise. And a bilge is the very bottom of a ship. Dirty, stinking place filled with rats, hence bilge rat. And uh, keel hauled? A traditional pirate punishment where your feet are tied and you are dragged under the water, rubbing against the barnacled bottom of the ship. You'd be torn to pieces, sir. That threat certainly would have had me quaking in my boots. If I'd had any idea what it meant, speak English! Ah, uh, Paul! So his mouth up! Uh, translation, please. So his mouth up. Uh, well, shiver me timbers. I think I've just filled my kill with bilge. I ain't getting the hang of it, mate. Ah, 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 ah. Here's to treasure. 
No, not for long, John. Well, that's pirates for you. <laughs> Back to the studio. <laughs>